Hello everybody, my name is Will, and welcome back to Sprocket, or for a number of you, welcome for the first or technically second time to a Sprocket video. Um, there have been, in the last few days, a lot of subscribers coming in from uh, the shorts I made. So if you've never seen this game before and you just subscribed because you thought the game looked cool, uh, here is a full video, hopefully you have come over from that short. Uh, welcome! Uh, time to get obsessed with a game where you build tanks, and in other news, we're not building a tank! We're not- we're not building a tank. We're building a half-track today, uh, which you can probably already tell by the fact that there's only half a track there, uh, on your screen. Um, on which you are currently watching this video. Yes, uh, we are not building a conventional tank today. I have never built a half-track before, and the nodes on this one are an utter disaster. And here you can see the cause of it. The cabin. I had no idea how to go about doing this, to be entirely honest. It's a level of complexity that I just haven't had to deal with before. It took a long time! Sorry, I just wheezed a breath in there. I sound like one of the photographers from Come Fly With Me. Uh, but, uh, yeah. It, 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 it's very fiddly, and it definitely confused the game's, uh, modelling a little bit. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it works in the end. <laughs> we got there. Um, obviously, if you want to do stuff like these half-tracks, uh, you're, you've got to be very confident in your ability to, like, fix the uh, internal space and stuff when it goes wrong, like overlapping faces on the internal of your vehicle. Otherwise, uh, you're either going to have to sacrifice a lot of detail and just not include things, uh, or it, it, it's just going to be a nightmare and go wrong. Now, I'm not 100% confident in fixing these things, but I do have a bit of an advantage, frankly, as somebody who has a comment section full of people telling me how to fix things every single time they go wrong. I, I get a lot of ra rapid advice <laughs> uh, whenever I break things, so I've learned a lot of these things quicker um, than I think most people would, and with less practice because people just tell me, uh, which is very handy. Um, but on that topic, uh, feel free uh, to join in the description below. There are two links, there are two discords. Uh, there is the official Sprocket Discord, and there's also my Discord. Both of those places, you can find assistance if you want to build one of these uh, half-tracks yourself, and you're really struggling with nodes going wrong and stuff. I'm sure you can find people who will be willing to help you in there. Perhaps myself, if I'm awake. Straight after this video, I'm probably going to go straight back to bed because I woke up very early to catch the Formula One practice and that was a mistake because I also went to bed very late and I am very, I'm just on a coffee and a prayer at this point. It, this is probably a very scuffed voiceover. In fact, this whole video is probably very scuffed because this has all been done in one day, uh, which I probably shouldn't have done. <laughs> but here we are because tomorrow KSP2 comes out and boy oh boy, I'm going to be playing nothing but KSP2. Um, I am, I, dead, yeah, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna get carried away with that, and I already know it, so I had to get a video out today. Um, also, yeah, quick, uh, monthly reminder that, uh, I do have a Patreon as well. Um, in, that's also in the description. Um, and also like and subscribe. Look, wow, I'm getting all of the good YouTuber things out of the way here. This is what you should tell your audience at the very start of a video, but I always forget to because it's, um, it's obnoxious, isn't it? It's really annoying. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I watch as much YouTube as I make, if not more. I watch, I watch more YouTube than I make. I've got completely carried away on a tangent here. Let's go back to the gameplay. The, the, the half track is done. <laughs> and so, here we have our truck. Yeah. Um, it's not a tank. <laughs> um, so immediately I have taken sprocket tank design and I have I've just thrown that under the bus. Uh, but we do have a tank gun. Uh, we have a 75 millimeter anti-tank gun mounted to the top of this with 106 mil pen. May actually be more in practice because there's a bit of a bug with penetration at the moment. Um, we'll see if that is still a thing. Uh, I guess um, we have obviously wheels at the front. Uh, these don't physically interact with the world. I tried putting body panels, like, inside the wheels, um, but they it just kind of gets stuck on the ground and kind of provides a bunch of drag. One thing I may do to just 
counterbalance this thing is actually just make this rear armor like ridiculously thick. Um, I mean, if I just go crazy, like 150, it's it's impractical because we have no armor anywhere else in any of the important compartments. It's a truck. It's not meant to have armor. Um, but yeah, that might mm, just about counterbalance it and mean we don't fall over onto our wheels so much. So I'll try that. Um, but yeah. 75 millimeter gun we got a little uh like bullet shield here which you can lower over the drivers and it's got these hatches so the drivers can open them and still see i think i think it's kind of cool obviously it's a little bit simple you could do a lot more with this design uh but i'm not made of time so i've i've done this <laughs> So let's see how we do. And we're missing a Commander's Cupola. Oh no, uh, what a crying shame. Now, putting that 150 millimeter of armor on <laughs> does mean we've only got one of these things. Uh, also, my sight is clipping in to the side of the tank so we can't see a thing. Oh no, 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 75, please, please. <laughs> You've got to kill, you have to kill. You can't not kill if we're gonna win this. <laughs> there are a lot of Panzer tractors firing a lot of rounds at me right now. And uh, I mean, we are pretty big and not a lot of us has actually any components of importance in. So they can hit us a lot uh, and they'll go through, but it won't do any actual meaningful damage to us, which is really what saved us so far. We're still going. Uh, we have taken so many shots, and I guarantee you 100% of them have gone through. Uh, we've not provided armor to the enemy. Let's, uh, you know, we, we, we always could. We could just turn rear to the rear of our half track to them, and, and then boom, 150 millimeters of armor. It's a pretty good move, to be honest. I think they did that in World War II. Hello! Oh, that's a crying shame. That was an embarrassing miss. Can you just let me get another one before you fire at me, please? Oh, they did. Okay, that's nice of them. Okay, I should have, in theory, fixed the gun sight clipping into the turret when you're looking up. Looking down, it's still going to be a bit of a problem. I just kind of squared off that gap for the gun to stick through. Once again, a little bit lazy, but oh well, it works. Oh, wow. Okay, they've hurt me a lot, that Hennemore. I would like revenge for that, but preferably revenge that I can obtain without dying myself. Oh, goodness me, this gun is much higher velocity than I thought. Uh, clearly the penetration bug is still there. It is, yeah. Uh, so, in order to elaborate on that, which I have alluded to, uh, basically all guns are firing as if I think late they're late war. Um, so the, the muzzle velocity calculations aren't being applied, uh, which means guns, no matter the era, fire very, very uh, high velocity rounds. So, um, the stack card lies. We actually have more penetration than it says, but that's just a, a, a bug and it'll get fixed. Uh, it's it's known by the developer. Um, he's, in fact, the person who informed me of this bug uh, <laughs> in their uh, official Discord, which is linked in the description. There you go. There you go. Look at me. Uh, I am I am repping the community pages. Hello, friend. Would you like 75 millimeter cannon? Oh, God, I can't see. Uh... Uh, just give me a minute. There we go. I've got one for you. There you go. Have have that. Enjoy. Um, there's another one over here as well. That's a Henny more. I think we've already killed him as well. Uh, right. Two enemies left. Two friendlies. Whereabouts might those enemies be? I think they're going to be... Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see them. Now for the long drive over. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my friends. I arrive with a 75. Ooh, that almost rhymed. Hello. Um, there we go. Yep. Right. Okie dokie. Silent border time. And we do have some fantastic lights on this thing that work. A treat, except uh, they don't at all. Uh, and I can't see a thing, even with them. Uh, it's very bright outside, lovely weather at the moment, and that means uh, I am even less likely to see the anti-tank guns on the horizon than I was when it was wintry and cold outside. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this mission may be a little bit chaotic, but we'll we'll call it we'll call it doable. Uh, hello, my friend. Uh, we have been shot. 
from the anti-tank gun in the field as well as the guy behind the house. Uh, oh no, I have been, I've been knocked into the minefield. This isn't going to be good for me health. There's an anti-tank gun there though, uh, and that is, I'm pretty sure, the Allen coming to say hello and also goodbye. Uh, we've won. We've won. <laughs> okay. Um, sure. Yeah, that's that's good. Should we get this other anti-tank gun? Uh, I think we can. It's just there. Yeah. All right. Here we go. I really should put a commander's cupola in this at some point, uh, and then I actually get my commander buffs to my crew, so it would reload quicker. Uh, it would help, but you know what? We've not needed it so far, so... <laughs> We'll just we'll just roll on without it for now, um, because really, commanders are overrated anyway. Bureaucracy is often a problem with militaries, uh, and you know, commanding officers they're they're part of the bureaucratic structure of a military. So, removing those well improves operational efficiency, I'm sure. Uh, except it literally does the opposite in this game. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm talking complete nonsense. Hello, friends. Would you like to die? Yes, he would. You, over there. You are my second invitation for death. Oh, no. You don't want to die. Uh, you want to live on. I'm just getting shot in the side. I don't know why this thing is quite as tanky as it is. Maybe we've really confused the game. Maybe all of my faces are broken and I can't physically take damage. But you know what? Isn't there something fun about just having an impervious truck with a 75? Like, there's something just inevitable about it. I am inevitable in this truck and they can't stop me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I like to see, baby. Hello, friend. Goodbye, friend. Ah, uh, you can't hide behind your ally there. I see ya. I do. There we go. He's gone. And now, just one more left, probably, down the road. Oh no, he's there. Hello. Uh, oh goodness. Ow, 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 my commander. Ow, me, my everything. Ow. No, stop that. Uh... There we go. <laughs> Can a tiger kill me, though? Uh, I'm willing to say probably. Is it even a tiger? Or is it an IS-122? We'll see. Oh, it, it can shoot us. It's a tiger. Hello. No. No, it can't. Uh, no, it can't, basically. Um, have you considered... APHE, my friend, because I feel like APHE will kill this. Um, perhaps we should test that in a custom battle after this. That might be a fun little thing to do. Uh, hi. Ooh. There we go. It's killed me. It's killed me. It has. Uh, right. Shall we uh, run around him a little bit? get this guy into a pretty good spot, because obviously we can die, and I've noticed this guy isn't moving. So if I leave him there, maybe he's going to bait some shots, and I can close in with this one. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, I feel like the King Tiger is now going to turn to shoot at me. Oh, I do have a little bit of a hill in the way, though. Maybe not. Uh, oh, I don't think he sees me. There we go. Okay, outmaneuvered um, by a half track, and he did actually kill one. So it is it is possible to kill it. It's just the enemies seem to struggle with it. <laughs> okay, so uh, something a little bit odd. Um, the half track seems to be pretty much invulnerable. So there's not much more that I can do in the actual scenarios, which is going to be interesting because it's just going to be the same. Uh, I, I'm just going to be unable to be killed, and I'm going to fire repeatedly at the enemy and flank them. So, we've hopped in my oscillating medium tank from a couple of videos ago, and I'm going to see if I can kill ten of these anti-tank guns. Uh, and I think I know a secret which the AI doesn't really utilise, and that is APHE. So, uh, let's see if my theory works. We don't have much in the way of APHE ammo, so we've really got to hit. Uh, if there's one thing this oscillating tank lacks, it's ammo. Uh, I mean, we've got 12 APHE, 12 AP, 
uh, and then another three AP and a ready rack in the turret. Uh, it's not a lot. Um, however, we'll see. Uh, can we one-shot the half-tracks with this APHE? Hello, friends. It's time for science. Crest the hill for science. Oh, yeah, it works. Okay, APHE is the way to go. Now, I've just got to do that a lot more times. There's another one gone. Uh, <laughs> now, they can definitely kill me. Very easily, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we don't have the thickest level of armor in the world. One thing we do have is superb mobility in this thing. Uh, so, let's... <laughs> this is such a ridiculous battle, honestly. <laughs> if I could use this 50 cal on top, I absolutely would. There goes another one. Oh, my... Ooh, okay. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't like you aiming that at me. Uh, let's get behind him, and there we go. That'll do him. I have to be a little bit careful that I don't catch the uh, the back of the tank there with the 150 millimeters of armor, uh, which is just a counterbalance. But I'm sure in a very unusual circumstance, it could be useful. <laughs> now, that is going to be the rear. Oh, no. What's happened there? Um... I think I've just missed, is what's happened there. Uh, I am bad. There we go. Uh, we do have a couple of spare rounds to expend. Ooh, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Uh, <laughs> no. There we go, got the side of him. And just this one in front of us left. Uh, now, we could be fancy and flank him, but you know what? I'm going to give him a chance. I'm going to go forward into him. Tell you what, I don't think the AI is doing a very good job of this one. <laughs> okay, uh, well, it's it's just the uh, in-game AI doesn't really know uh, to use APHE on these half tracks, but definitely APHE we have proved rather efficient against these things. So uh, yeah, I mean, if you happen to be in a French oscillating medium MBT kind of dealio thing, and you encounter 10 half-tracks in a field, uh, load the high explosive shells. Uh, anyway, if you've enjoyed this slightly odd video, <laughs> it's definitely been... It's been an experience, that's for sure, but if you've enjoyed this experience, please leave a like, comment, and or subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave any suggestions you have for future videos in the comments or in the suggestions channel of my Discord, which is linked in the description. And I'm going to do the quick monthly reminder that I do have a Patreon, which is also linked in the description. Uh, I don't mean to... I don't want to lock any content behind Patreon, uh, but at the moment, uh, the finances are interesting, uh, so it would anything that can be provided is greatly appreciated, um, but no pressure. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the future. Goodbye. And as always, a huge thank you to this channel's patrons Cody N, Nicholas K, Just a Casual T62 M1, Gunmaster929, Zite Wolverine, Rivera, Tree Loving Mango, Camjam135, Sad Cat, DJ Pete, Yoki003, Caligo Drake, and Rule Stalls Bokken. Thank you so much.